What's up, guys? It's me and my tech tech. I named him Techie. And today I will be bringing you math. But function division. But first, let me tell you about my day in school. So, my day in school was awesome. And it also happened right here at 7, I mean at 8.30, no, 8. And it was early, so, yeah, it was early and I was tired, but then I was happy because I got to do some virtual learning with the Chromebook. Just like mine, it's locked. So, virtual learning is fun. There's nothing bad about it. It's just like school. And It's fun, it's awesome, and yeah. So, something bad with my second day of virtual school. Anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna put it up. So, remember when I did multiplication with division? Well, I wasn't fooling around there. It was for a purpose, and only one purpose. So, we can divide by seven. How many groups of seven can make 21? Three. Why? Because one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. If three goes to seven. Now this is the exact same thing, but with one remainder. One from two equals one. Uh, two from two equals zero. Now, how many groups of seven can make thirty-five? Five. If you, if you um are not sure are not sure of me, flip it around. Five times seven. Well, go to the one you know. Let's see. Well, I know five times four is twenty, and five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. Five times seven is thirty-seven. I mean, thirty-five. How many groups of seven can make forty-nine? Uh. Seven. Now, if you take a look at my multiplication table, my multiplication table, if you take a look at this, seven times seven equals 49. Put my marker. It doesn't matter, I can just use this one. How many groups of seven can make 51? None, because 51 is not on the seven times tables chart. But in this case, yes, seven groups with 
Let's see how many remaining. Remainders. I don't know why it's called, why it's called remainder. What do you remainder? Anyways. So, 7 times 7 equals 49, which is right here. Make this and make the five into a four. No bugs in my lesson. Now fifteen. I mean eleven from nine equals two. Four from four equals zero. What two remainder? And this group is the, and this one is the most, e is the easiest thing of all time. E-O-A-T, e easiest thing of all time. No, easiest of all time, E-O-A-T. There you go. Think of it, E slash O. Okay, I'm getting to, um, Brainiac about this. Let's just go with EO. So 10 times 7 equals. I mean, 70 divided by 10 equals 7. That's like the most easiest question of all time. Seriously, it really is. Now I'm going to end the video with. Peace out.